We are going to start with alternating forward lunges. So let's go. Alternating forward lunges, but taking your time. This is our very first move. In Tuesday morning, in case you forgot. Give me about 10 more seconds here. There we go, I gotta start my timer. In five seconds, we transition to a squat. You need four, three, two. So stand up nice and tall. I want you to drive your tailbone back. All 10 toes face forward. We'll come into an opportunity in moments where you bring that heart rate up. But right now you're checking in with your body. Today's class is mostly about strength, a little bit of cardio. Give me two more squats, one more, and now hold it down, hands to the floor. Walk it out, find your high plank position. Bring your right foot to your right hand. Reach your right arm up. This is our world's greatest stretch. Right arm down, right foot back, lift your hips, come back forward. Left foot. Left hand, left hand, left foot. Keep alternating sides. Take your time. Drive your heels down in your down dog. Team, hold your plank. Find your plank, hold your plank. Walk your hands into your feet, stand up. And now we're ready for jumping jacks. Let's go, 30 seconds. So. Low impact option, you tap and tap. What I've got for you today, we've done it before, is one minute of lower body, 30 seconds of upper body, three sets of that. We break it down one cardio, one core, we wash, rinse, and repeat. Keep going, you got 10 seconds. Then we flip it, one minute of upper body, 30 seconds of lower body, three sets of those, cardio and core. Three, two, reverse lunge, go. So now alternating reverse lunge. Elbows can come wide. You can add rotation. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. And I say this all the time, but it's worth repeating. Not a rhythmic class. Check in with your body. It's 7.32 on Tuesday. What did you do yesterday? What's on deck for tomorrow? Four, three, Two, now we squat. So it's right, center, left, center. Right there. Just add a little bit of movement, hopefully a little bit of depth. Right, center, left, center. Now, 10 more seconds, and then we're going to come down to a high plank position. If the high plank doesn't work, come down to your elbows. In four, in three, last two, Last one, hands down, legs are long. Find that high plank. Now, really feel the energy in your front of your core as you press the heels of your hands into the floor. Now give me shoulder taps. Right hand left, left hand right. And your goal over these 10 seconds is to keep your hips as quiet as possible. Neck is long, belly stays pulled in. Give me two more here. Hold your plank. Walk your hands into your feet. Stand up. Second set of jacks. Go. 30 seconds. Second set of jacks. Shake it out. 30 seconds. I always got to say good morning. Hope everybody's feeling good, great, if not awesome on this Tuesday. You have 10 seconds left here. We're going to move into our single leg RDL in five. If you have no idea what that is, no worries. Four, three, two, break. Shift your body weight into your left leg. Bring your right knee up. Reach your right hand towards the floor. Stand up. Do it again. Now a couple things I want you to focus on here. Keeping your chest open, keeping your spine long, and pointing your right hip towards the floor. Team, we've got two more on this side. Give me one more. You're moving in your own time. If it's a little bit slower, not a big deal. And switch. So shift your body weight into your right. Left knee comes up. Left hand reaches for the floor. Keep going. 
So what you're doing here is you're starting to wake up your hamstrings, drive some energy in your glutes. I'm coming back to center. You're still moving. Team, give me one more and break. Reset. All ten toes forward. Take your right knee up. Open up into a big wide squat. Drop it down. Bring it in. Open up to the left side. Drop it down. Bring it in. So exaggerate the hip opening. This is a move we will execute today with weight. This is opening up your hips, dropping your booty down. Team, we got one more each side. So that's right side, and then left side, come back to center, shake it out, football hustle. Football hustle, you know and you love it. When I say touch, you touch, touch, touch. When I say up, you go up, up, touch, touch. When I say direction, quick turn, back to the middle. Touch, up, right, left, touch, touch. What do we got? We got 15 seconds. Go lower, go faster. Touch, up, right, left. You got 10 seconds. I want you to shake out your arms. Shake out your body. In five seconds, you'll have a chance to grab water. Four, three, two, and break. Shake it out. So, exercise number one, I've got option for you, weights in hand. Option number one, alternating forward lunges. Weights hang by your hips. Option number two, weights are overhead. If you've got space, you move it into a walking lunge. If you don't have space, alternating forward lunges, arms up. Team, it's one gorgeous minute, you're gonna love it. Everybody grab your weights. Everybody roll your shoulders back. Stand tall. Three, two, legs go. So I'm putting my weights up and I'm alternating that forward lunge. Now, if you have your arms up, your neck is long and loose, your belly is pulled in. I just had to make sure my timer was going. If forward lunges are not your jam, you can do the same thing, reverse. You're already 30 seconds down. You got it, Ruth. Maybe you have one weight in your hands and you're holding that one weight up and overhead. Primarily, your focus is lower body right now. Belly is in. Chest is tall. You have 15 seconds left. Shoulders drop down and back. We're gonna keep those same weights in 10 seconds and yes, we're gonna bring them down. Come on team, give me four more lunges. Three more. We got it together, two. Give me one more. And stand tall, bring the weights down in front of your body. Hinge forward. We've got one, two, three, four rows, and then stand up. Let's go, hinge. One, two, three, four. Weights come down, stand up, do it again. 30 seconds here, that's it. Draw the shoulder blades together, keep your spine long. 15 down, 15 to go. Now we keep those same weights in 10 seconds when we transition back to our lower body. Keep going, you got it. Stand up tall after the four rows. Three, two, and break. Keep your weights. Lateral lunge, one weight frames each side of the foot. You stand up, you curl, other side. Lateral lunge, curl, one minute, let's go. Lateral lunge to the right, stand up, option to add the curl. Lateral lunge to the left, stand up, option to add the curl. If you've only got one weight, give me the lateral lunge. You can hold the head of the weight in each hand and give me that great curl. So this is primarily lower body. With intention, we're giving our shoulders a break. Belly stays in, you got it. Spine stays long. Booty drives back. Team, you've got 15 seconds here. We'll transition to our upper body exercise in 10. Option number one is our Arnold press. Arnold press, fingertips face your shoulders, fingertips face the front. Remember, it's 30 seconds. Three, two, break. If that's not your jam, 
Give me a bent elbow, lateral raise. Team, let's go. Feet out. A little bit wider than hip width apart. Belly stays in. Lower body is locked and loaded. Squeeze your glutes. Full rotation. You've got 15 seconds left. In 10 seconds, keep moving. We've got our squat right and left. With the weights you've got in your hands. Last three, last two, last one. Wrap your weights up on your shoulder. Squat right, center, left, center. We have one minute here. So weights are front loaded, which means your fingertips face your shoulder, or you can rest them on your shoulders. It still adds that load. On your squat, make sure your knees track out over your toes. Keep moving. Keep moving. You got it. Right there. Beautiful, Carolyn. Just like that. I love it. Everybody looks awesome. So on deck is our last upper body exercise in this first block. You've got 10 seconds. We're finally going to come down to the mat in seven and walk the plank. If that's not for you, you'll be on your back for a chest press. Three, two, break. So put the weights down, come down into an elbow plank. When I say go, you come up on your right, up on your left, down on your right, down on your left. Go. If you're on your back, feet can be flat, elbows wide. Nice, strong chest press, knuckles towards the ceiling. Walk the plank, friends. Switch sides. So now it should be left hand, up, up, down, down. Now on deck is that beautiful 45 seconds of cardio, complemented by 45 seconds of core. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, and break. So everybody stand up, step to the back of your area, whatever your area is. We're moving into that beautiful broad jump. And a quick twist and shuffling back. 45 seconds. Three, two, let's go. If you're not a jumper, don't jump. Quick twist, shuffle back. If you are, low, land, twist, drive back. It's a 45 second push. It's an opportunity for you to get breathless. You got it, Melanie, just like that. Now I challenge you, how softly can you land? Can you control the deceleration? And in my class, the answer is always yes. Do you have 15 seconds left? Yes, it works just like that. Come on, team, we got 10 seconds before we come down to our butt. We will grab the weight on the way down in five. Come on, in four, give me one more net. Three, two, and break. Grab a single weight. Put that single weight in your right hand. Now you're gonna sit up, so shoulder blades tap down, sit up, reach, switch, sit up, press, switch, go, 45 seconds. Inhale back, exhale up. If the overhead press doesn't work, take it out. Keep the weight in your chest. See how removing the arms overhead removes the opportunity for momentum. You feel all that great power in your belly. You've got 20 seconds left here, and then I'll give you a 45 second reset. You got it, just like that. 10 to go. There you go, Ksenia. Yep. Right there, everybody looks great. Five, four, three, two, shake it out. Shake it out. So grab water, do whatever you need to do now that sets you up for a repeat. We're gonna do all of those same exercises one more time in the exact same order. So that first exercise, if you forgot, don't worry, that's my job. Weights are wrapped up on the shoulder or pressed up alternating forward lunges. If you've got the space, I can pretend I have the space, walking lunges, I would do three forward and then I turn around. 
Okay, team, you got five seconds. I know, so generous. Grab those weights, press them up if you can. One minute on my clock, let's go. Walking lunges. Now, it should take a little bit more focus to move the walking lunges with the weights over your head. Be creative, you don't have to only go forward. Use the sides of your space, but keep moving. Next stays long and loose. You're 30 seconds down and 30 to go. You got it, Judy, just like that. There you go, Sam. I think, I hope that's what you appreciate about our mornings together, is that I give you guidance, and then you say, how does my body feel right now today? You've got 10 seconds here, and it is gonna feel super glorious in eight seconds when the weights come down for our hinge and four rows. Three, two, reset. Feet hip width apart, hinge. One, two, three, four, stand up. Hinge, one, two, three, four, stand up. Just like our RDLs in the warm up, spine stays long. Belly pulls into the spine. Team, you've got five more seconds and we move into our lateral lunge. Three, two, reset. Lateral lunge to the right, stand up, and curl, go. Lateral lunge to the left, stand up, and curl. Take your time, lengthen your inner thigh. When you step out to the left or to the right, it is activation of your outer glutes, outer hip, outer thigh. Press all five toes on the left side down into the floor. And all 10 toes should face forward. Keep moving team, you're over halfway there. Our upper body move on deck in 15 seconds is our Arnold press. Keep going. Give me those last 10. You've got five. Let's rock out one more each side. And then left. And now weights up at the shoulder, Arnold press. 30 seconds. Chest is tall, belly in. Less intense option, elbows bent. A nice light lateral raise. I know, a lot of love for the upper body today. It's one of the reasons I love this format. Team, you have less than 10 seconds, and we move into our squat. Give me four more. Three more, feel the burn, you love it. Come on, two. Last one, weights rack up in front of you. Squat right, center, left, center, right into it. Drop the booty down. Keep the chest tall. Pay attention to where your knees go. Some people, their knees buckle in. Some people, they drive out. Keep the quality movement, which is more important than the added load. You got it, Lisa, just like that. You're already over halfway there. Last time, you're going to rock this one out. You got it, Rebecca. 15 seconds left. Now on deck, we walk the plate in 10. So those weights will come down, or you're on your back for a chest press. Give me five seconds. Come on, four. Last three, we take it to the end. Two, and break. Weights come down. Elbow plank. Start in an elbow plank. Start on your left arm. Go up, up, down, down. Left arm leads, first 15 seconds. If you're on your back for a chest press, rock it out. Team, switch arms, right arm. Heel of your hand should go directly underneath your shoulder. And your body lifts up in one strong straight unit. You have five seconds left, and then we broad jump. Final set in three, in two, and break. So everybody up. Load it up, team. I've got 45 seconds on my clock. Three. 
three, two, let's go. Big broad jump forward. Quick turn, shuffle back. Do it again. Big broad jump forward. Quick turn, shuffle back. So you load, you explode, you land softly. You keep going. Keep going, come on. This is where that heart rate rises. This is built with intention to make you breathless. You have 15 seconds. You got it, Bobby. Come on, Paul, I know you're there. I know you're rocking 10 to go. Yes, Jess. Team, can you give me three more? Big broad jump, quick turn, shuffle back, two more. Big broad jump, quick turn, shuffle back. Come on, last one. Big broad jump, quick turn, shuffle back, break. On your butt, grab that single wave. Single weight's in the left hand. Belly is in, spine is long. Inhale back, exhale, switch. Switch, go. Now, eyes, gaze forward, chest stays open, shoulder blades tap the floor. We are wrapping up block number one here. You have 20 seconds left. If the press doesn't work, keep the weight in your chest. Feel the load. Engage the belly. You have 10 seconds. Keep going, team. You got five, three, two, and break. Shake it out. Grab some water. Whew. So, I have folded up my mat just once so far. But if you want to fold it up again, because we're going to be on our knees. I told you I've got a lot of love for the upper body today. This is where we flip the switch. So now we're one minute upper body, 30 seconds of lower body. The first exercise can be done in a high kneeling position. I'm just showing you the side view. Don't worry, you have 30 seconds till I say go. Hinge, curl, press. You get a little bit of the lower body, glutes and belly on the hinge, power into the curl and then to the press. Your option, if you're standing, is a swing. So hips come back, weights go back, arms come up. Those are your options. Pick your choice. Poison sounds so negative. <laughs> uh, weights are set. Roll your shoulders back wherever you are. I got one minute on my clock. In three, in two, let's go. Hinge, curl, press. I'm going to lift my ear butt. There we go. Hinge. Curl, press. What I want you to feel when you move from the hinge to the curl is a strength and stability that takes over from your hips to your shoulders. So your glutes squeeze, your belly engages, and then you have the strength and stability to add the press. Yes, it happens quickly. It's a lot to think about. Just different things to pay attention to as you move your body. Hinge, curl, press. Weights face each other the whole time. Now, you have 15 seconds left here. 10 to go. Keep moving. Five seconds, those weights come down. Four, three, two, and break. So weights come down. So most of us are on our knees, hands behind our head. We come up on the left, up on the right, option to jump, down on the right, down on the left. Then you switch, up, up, jump, down, down. Standing friends, you're here. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. It's 30 seconds. Hands behind your head, let's go. Up, up, little jump option, down, down. Up, up, little jump option, down, down. Keep moving. Build the heat. Build that energy. You got 10 seconds. Then the good news is we're going to lay down on our back. Come on, you got five seconds. We're going to grab chest fly weights in three, in two, excuse me, and break. So I'm going to quickly unroll my mat, grab my heavier weights, and lay down on my back. Arms are up, legs are up. I'm moving into a chest fly, option to add the leg drop. So everybody lay down on your back, option legs are up. I got one minute on my clock, 
three, two, let's go. Arms open up, legs extend, bring it back together. Now, slow, controlled movements in this one are much more powerful than any sort of speed. If your lower back starts to disconnect from the floor at any point, give me one leg dropping at a time. Palms face each other. You have a soft bend in your elbows, and you have 30 seconds left. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. In ten seconds, weights will come down and you'll flip over to a high plank position. If you're not coming to a high plank, I want you to squat in three, in two. So weights come down, heels of the hands under your shoulders, legs are out. You are either going to walk or hop your feet outside your hands. Bring your hands up, hands come down, feet go back. Thirty seconds. Up, 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 back, back, go. If you're not there, you're just in a quality air spot. We have 30 seconds. This is called a frogger. One of the most important steps is when your hands come off the floor and you drop into your hips a little bit. You have 15 seconds. Now what I love today is strength, obviously upper body, and core. So just think about that. You got five seconds here. This is the closest you're going to come to a burpee today. Three, two, and break. So now I have a single weight. I'm in a high plank position and I'm moving into a single arm row. 30 seconds on the right and then I'll switch 30 seconds on the left. If that doesn't work, staggered stance. Ready? High plank, legs are long. Let's go. 30 seconds, pull, pull, pull. Now, I want you to drill your left hand into the ground. I want your feet out a little bit wider than hip width apart, and I want your chest to face the floor. Team, give me four more, three more, two, last one, switch. So find your foundation before you add movement. Go. Keep moving. Now I love this next exercise for strength, for mobility. You have 15 seconds. For my friends who are staying off of your wrist, you will move into a reverse lunge next. Everybody else, weight comes down, high plank position in three, in two, and break. So, stay in your high plank position. Bring your left foot between your hands, and then come up into a low lunge. Hands come down, left foot back, right foot forward, come up. Ready, 30 seconds, let's go. Left foot, hands come up, hands go down, foot comes back. For my standing friends, you are in alternating reverse lunge. For my low lunge friends, you are staying low. You have 10 seconds left here. Everybody's gonna stand up for that 45 second cardio opportunity. In three, in two, and break. So everybody stand up, come to one side of your set area, lateral hops over. Both feet touch both sides. 45 seconds, let's go. Now, what you can do, if you want to have a little bit of fun, is do a few forward, and then turn around, and do the same number back. Three or five is usually optimal. It gets you to the front, it gets you to the back, it keeps you moving. Then you get that twist, you get that turn, you got it, Jen. Just like that. I know you're working, Noreen, I know you love it, come on. There we go, Nancy. Come on, team. You have 15 seconds. Can you go faster? Can you bring those arms up? Can you do one thing different that gets that heart rate up? Come on, you've only got five. We grab a weight on the floor in four. 
Come down to our booty. Three, two, break. Come down to your booty. Grab that weight. Come into a V sit. Heels are down or legs are up. And I want you to rush and twist. Right and left. Go. 45 seconds. Right and left. Now, I want the rotation, you want the rotation to be from the wrist. If your heels are down, all good. Knees pin together. Chest is open. Now, pins back one more inch. Because what we do is we find that place where we're like, okay, manageable, that's the word. My husband sometimes comes back from class and he's like, this part was manageable, this part was not so much. Let's find a way to challenge ourselves. Make all of it a little less manageable. Three, two, great. 45 seconds. And I say that not as a, like, yo, I want to kick your ass type thing. I would say it too. But um, I say it as like, that's how we make those changes. We get out of our comfort zone. We do one thing different. I got 30 seconds, so I can tell you what I was listening to Atomic Habits yesterday. It's a book. And he was saying, if you make 1% change every day for 30 years, in 30 years, you've made a 30% change. So just think about that. Okay, where are we? We're folding up our mats. I know, that was a little random Jill sidebar. You love it. Coming down to our knees, rolling our shoulders back, and we're back to the top at block two. Pulling your belly in, keeping your spine long. Three, two, legs go. Hinge, curl, press. Hinge, curl, press. Standing, friends. Hinge, arms come up. My standing friends will feel that same power from your shoulders to your hips. That is your entire core. I say this all the time. The magazines have us believe it's front and center. No, it's this entire area working together. Team, you're 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Inhale back, exhale forward. Send your tailbone back, lengthen your spine. You have 15 seconds and on deck is our prisoner squat with an option to add a jump. 10 to go. Weights come down in five, in four, three, two, break. Weights come down, hands behind your head. Let's go right first, up on the right, up on the left, add a little jump, down on the right, down on the left. Go. Now, for my non-knee friends, you squat, you lunge, you squat, you lunge. So you still build that same goodness in your hamstrings, in your glutes, in your quads. Your elbows are wide, chest is open. In 10 seconds, I'll give you transition time. We'll unroll our mat. You have four seconds. Three, two, and break. So unroll your mat, lay down on your back. We're moving into our flies. Arms up, legs up. Belly in, let's go. Arms open up, legs extend. Bring it back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. So there are a bunch of different things happening here. It's my very technical term. You should feel that good power in your chest. Muscles activating. You should also notice the energy front and center in your core. Relax your quads. They're not invited to the party. Now this is where we have a series of exercises where we stay on our hands. You have 15 seconds. Remember your option, one leg and then the other. Take your time. You got it, Ashley. Come on, we got eight seconds. We're going to flip over to the high plank or stand up for the squat in three, in two, and break. So coming into the high plank position, this is important. Foot feet outside the hands, hands come up, hands come down, feet go back. Go, 30 seconds. In, up, down, back. In, up, down, back. If you're not there, 
You're just in a nice quality air squat. 15 seconds. And we're going to add on to that renegade bro. You got 10 seconds. Keep moving. If you're standing for a row, you're going to stay right where you were. Four, three, two, and break. So everybody else, come into a high plank position. I'm going to ask for one row on the right. Reach your right arm forward. Then you switch. One row on the left. Reach your left arm forward. Ready? Go. For my standing friends, I want you to stay 30 seconds one side, and then I'll tell you when to switch. High plank, friends. One row, weight comes down midline of your chest. Reach your right arm forward. Reset. Left arm comes down. Reach your left arm forward. Single arm, friends. Switch. So now we're halfway there. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. You got it, Jen, just like that. Come on, we got 20 seconds. Every time you replace both hands on the ground, I want you to screw the heels of your hands into the floor. I want you to actually think about that motion, like a screw driving into a wall or a piece of wood, and feel how that turns on your core. You have three, you have two, and break. Weight steps out of the way. Now your foot steps between your hands. You come up, hands go down, hands go back. Go. Other foot between your hands. Come up, down, and back. And if you're standing, alternating, reverse lunge. So team, this is our last exercise in block number two. You have 10 seconds left here. We've got our three for our hopovers next. And I'm going to add some fun. In four, in three, two, and break. So everybody stand up. This time, option one, two, three, option two, or one, two, three, option top. 45 seconds, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, you can shoot. One, two, three, you can top. Maybe you're like, I like both of those. Do both of those. I love it, you got it, Rebecca, just like that. Keep moving. Yes, Nancy. And if your preference was the over and the switch, stay there. You have 15 seconds left, team. Come on, come on. In 10 seconds, we'll grab that weight. We'll come down to our booty. Before we get there, can you get breathless? Yes, you can. You got it. Three, two, and break. Come down into your V set. Find your foundation. Then add movement. Now, you can tap the head of the weight to the ground every time. Are you comfortable? If the answer is yes, can you make yourself a little bit more uncomfortable? Pin your knees together. Imagine I'm sliding a piece of paper between your knees and you want to hold on to it. Take that knowledge. Feel how that changes the engagement. Rectus abdominis. Transverse abdominis. Team, you got 10 seconds. The best part is we got one final block. We rock it out one time in four, three, two, and break. Break. So you've got one minute, towel off, breathe, do whatever you need to do. Whew. So we followed a pattern in block number one. It was lower body, upper body, three sets. Then we followed a pattern in block two, lower body, upper body, three sets. Now we're going to combine them. So it's lower body, one minute, 30 seconds upper body, one minute upper body, 30 seconds lower body. And if you're like Jill, I haven't had enough coffee, don't worry about it. I'll tell you what you need to know when you need to know it. So, what I need you to do first is grab your weights. <coughs> the first exercise we're starting with is our transverse squat. Remember, like we practiced in the warm-up? I know you remember. 
So rack the weights up on your shoulder. They're there for load. You'll open up to the right and squat, and then open up to the left and come back. One minute on my clock. In three, in two, let's go. So exaggerate, open it up to the right. Bring it back in, open it up to the left. Now, when you open up, your front foot should face directly forward. And when you drop down, if you were to draw a line between your heels, it would make a 90 degree angle. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Exaggerate the crescent. Keep moving. Keep moving. You got it. 20 seconds. Now what happens with block three is this is one and done. So appreciate all that power. We got 10 seconds. You're gonna keep those weights in five. In four, and one more each side. Three, two, and break. So palms face your hips. You're gonna bring your hands up to a 90 degree angle. It's a half bicep curl. Then a quick lateral raise, bring it in and down. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Half curl, lateral raise, bring it in, down. Half curl, lateral raise, bring it in and down. It's only 30 seconds. If the lateral raise doesn't work, or you did it earlier, take it out. We have 10 seconds. Team, we're gonna move into a kickback. A little bit of love for those triceps in five, in four, a single weight, in three, in two, and break. So I'm putting one weight down. I have the single weight in my right hand, body weight in my left leg. Drive the elbow up, so meet me here. When I say go, press, press. Ready, go. So I want you to think, you can even put your left hand by your right hip. That's your stop sign. Right, we don't need a bicep curl, we already did that. It's just the active posterior chain. Now, roll your shoulder back, lengthen your neck. Now hold it up, hold it up, come on. Now pulse it, drive that pinky back, your pinky back. You've got five, four, three, two, and switch. Weight in the left hand, right leg forward, elbow back, chest open. Ready, go, press, press, press. Lock out the arm at the top, depending on your weight. You might be moving faster. Remember, you can put your right hand next to your left hip to stop the momentum. Okay, team, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back, right there. Now pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Come on, you got five. Roll that shoulder back, four. We grab, no, three, two, break, single weight. So you've got a single weight in your right hand, we squat left, you switch one, two, three, you stand up. Ready? Let's go. Squat left. One, two, three, stand up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Give me two more this way. One more. Two, three, stand up. Weight in the left, same thing. One, two, Three ends up in your left hand. Are you pulsing as that weight passes hand to hand? The answer should be yes. Give me one more, team. And break. Now, weights come down. We're coming down for a set of push-ups, team. If you don't do push-ups, I want alternating chest press and chest or uh, chest press and chest fly. So everybody come down, team. I got one minute on my clock. We go in four. Three, don't worry, I'm gonna change it up. Two, go. One push up, one down dog. One push up, one down dog. So inhale down, exhale up, press away. My thoughts got tangled up there. If you're on your back, which is all good, you're giving me one press, arms come up, and one fly. 
Now the down dog, one push up, one down dog, enables you to move into the next one. Team, you can come down to your knees and do the exact same thing. I want you really to pay attention at the midline of your chest meeting your thumbs. You have 15 seconds left. 10 to go. We're on our back in five, in four, no weights needed, in three, in two, and break. So lay down on your back, feet flat, knees up, hips up. Tuck your ribs in. Walk your feet away from the midline of your body. Your butt will have a one inch off the floor, and then you walk it in. I got 30 seconds, let's go. Walk your feet away from the midline of your body, butt is one inch off the floor, walk it back in. Switch, left leg leads. So you should feel that beautiful length down the back of your body. Hamstrings and glutes fired up. You have 10 seconds. Come on team, you got five seconds. You got four, three, two, and break, shake it out. So on deck team, 45 seconds is a skier. Arms and legs, big and strong, 45 seconds. Shake it out that cardio, three, two, let's go, big. You can be small. You can keep your elbows bent and just switch the legs. But this is 45 seconds. This is your last cardio exercise. So I challenge you to make it as big as you can. Come on, team. Keep going, keep going. You got less than 30 seconds. This is releasing all that great power, energy you work for on your shoulders. You got 20 seconds here. We got one core exercise on deck. Come on, big. Big, big. Yes, I love it, Ashley. Oh, that beats looks awesome. I'm gonna be there. You got 10 seconds. You're gonna grab a single wing in five and come down to your mat in three, in two, and break. Grab that single weight. Come down to your mat. One of my favorite core exercises. So weight starts at your chest. You rock and roll back. Option, come to a low squat. Rock and roll. Come to a low squat. If that doesn't work for you, you'll do a sit up and press and four Russian twists. Come and move. I got 45 seconds in three, in two, let's go. Rock and roll, come up. Rock and roll, come up. The heavier the weight is, the easier it's gonna be. So you want a real challenge, put the weight down. And I know your body's gonna wanna stand up. You're gonna get low, I saw that Patrick, that was perfect. Yes, right there. Feel that. Then there's that moment of like, yes, I'm awesome. You got 15 seconds, team. Come on up, team, up that cool down song, it's 10 away. Yes, right there, Carolyn, I saw that. Yes, Kaseni, I love it. You got it, Sarah, keep moving, keep moving. We got five seconds, team. We got four, yes you can, three, Two, and break, lay down on your back. Perfect, two minutes.